Hey guys, what is up? This is Alex, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to connect your phone to your car, your new Subaru, to use the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay. For today's purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do it on an iPhone, but it's the exact same setup for an Android device as well. Now you may be asking yourself, why would I wanna use this whenever I can use Bluetooth? Well, with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can actually mirror your device up on the touchscreen display so you don't have to have your phone out whenever you need it. So you can still utilize Google Maps, Waze, whatever navigation you like, or even Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, whatever music apps you like, all on your display, the touchscreen display of your car, without having your phone out. This is also a great option for people who have a base model that doesn't have navigation built into the car. So some of the Subaru models, typically your mid trim level on up, will have the option to add TomTom -tom navigation. You have to pay extra for this trim level to get it. And the TomTom -tom navigation, if we're, if we're being honest, is a little bit outdated. The user interface is a little outdated. And a lot of people are comfortable with the navigation on their phone. That's what they use when they're traveling anyways. So why not just use that same design, that same user interface, and display it up on your display? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. It's very easy. If your car has navigation, by the way, this is in an Outback. You'll see it up here. I'll just show you what it looks like. It's easy to use and it's functional, but it's just not as up to date as, as you would like to see, like you can see on the new phones. So to connect to Apple CarPlay, you're gonna to wanna to take your USB cable, plug it in down here, and then plug it up to your phone. Now it'll simultaneously charge your device and connect to CarPlay. Now you do have to accept it over here for it to be connected. And a lot of times it'll just automatically pop up here on the display. But if it doesn't automatically pop up right here and show the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto icon, you can go into apps and you can find it here. So right now it has the Apple CarPlay lit up green. If you have an Android device, the Android app will be lit up blue over here. So you'd be able to actually click on that. So once you have your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connected, you can click on the app. And if you click down below here, you'll be able to click these little icons and that'll show up all of the apps that are available to you to use. So as you can see, you've got a phone app, music, so iTunes, Spotify, if you use Pandora, Audible, for your audiobooks or uh, podcasts. So you have a ton of different things that you can utilize directly from the user interface here on your screen. You also have Waze as, a, as an option. So whatever navigation apps you like to use, you can actually have it displayed here on your screen while your phone is sitting away charging. So you can keep both hands on your wheel and, and drive much safer. So we're gonna go into my favorite, which is the Google Maps. And as you can see here, it displays on the entire screen. So it's much larger than you would see on a small device. And you can use everything as you normally would from the touch screen. So you can click on points of interest or you can go up here and search for the place you're looking for. I'm gonna put in Quill's Coffee because that is one of the best coffee places here in Louisville, Kentucky, there's multiple locations. So by the way, if you're ever in the area and you like coffee, check one of their locations out. Head northwest on Plantside Drive toward Bluegrass Parkway. And there you go. So as you could probably tell- Close coffee may close within one hour of when you arrive. All right, thank you, Google. <laughs> so as you can tell, the, uh, the volume is very easy to hear. It plays through the speakers of the car. So you don't have to rely on hearing it through your phone. And obviously you can adjust that. If you don't want it on, you can mute it. You can adjust all the settings as you normally would, how you would from your smartphone on the display here. So we're gonna go back out of this. It'll show the last three recent apps you use down here as a, a quick uh, way to get to them. So like, for example, one of the last apps I used was Spotify. So I can quickly get to those and listen to one of my daily mixes or, or whatever music I wanna to listen to. Now from the home screen of your CarPlay, if you swipe all the way over to the left, it's gonna show an overview of your navigation and your music. So you can quickly see 
your navigation right here and click into it. Or you can see what music you're listening to and be able to change the channel. You can also look at your calendar and see what events you have going on for that day. So a lot of people are familiar with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in the sense that it allows you to use your own navigation and it allows you to listen to your own music from whichever app that you normally listen to music on. But what's not always apparent right out of the gate is that you can also use your phone and your text message app directly from your screen here. So you can do hands-free calling where you can make and receive phone calls. You can also do hands-free texting so you don't have to be looking at your phone. You can actually send text and receive text all hands-free so you can keep both hands on the wheel with this little button right here. So you can use that. Now a word of caution, if you do use the hands-free calling or the hands-free texting and you want to use the voice command you do have to call out or text using that person's name however they're saved in your phone so as an example we are going to text my fiance chelsea but i don't have her saved in my phone as chelsea i actually have her saved under a nickname peach so in order to use the hands-free option we have to use her nickname text Peach. What do you want to say? Hey, I'm filming a new YouTube video using the Apple CarPlay and I'm going to call you here in just a second. Your message to Peach says, hey, I am filming a new YouTube video using the Apple CarPlay and I'm going to call you here in just a second. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So as you can see, I did that all hands-free. If you do want to go into your text messages here, it's not gonna read them out. Now these unread ones, if I click on it, it will read those, but it'll show you your recent contacts. But if you wanna send a new message here, you can also just click here, this little icon, and it'll ask you who you wanna send a text to. Who do you wanna send it to? I'm going to click cancel because we're not sending a text. We've already done that. Peach said okay sounds great and sent a thumbs up emoji. Would you like to reply? No. Okay, that's everything. So that's just an example of how the, the text is read to you. As you can tell, it's very easy to hear. Siri can understand what you're saying very well. And so now we're going to test it out by calling. Okay, so now that we've tested out the text message feature, I'm going to show you guys how to call from your phone. So you just click on the phone icon here. Now you can call with the keypad right here. You can go to your full contact list, your recents, or even your favorites. I'm just going to go under here under my recents since I talked to Chelsea recently. I'm going to click on the phone icon and it's going to call out. So we're going to test this out and see what she thinks. Hopefully she answers. Hello. Hey, it's me. Hi. Hey, so we're filming a video here just showing everybody how to use Apple CarPlay and how the uh, the voice command works. So can you hear us okay? Yeah. Okay, let me test something out. What about now? Yep, I can still hear you. Okay. Well, I couldn't hear you because I had the fan all the way up. <laughs> so you couldn't couldn't hear the fan volume? No. All right. Well, thanks for helping out. <laughs> wow, that's all you needed me for. <laughs> well, do you want to do you want to say anything else? Um yeah, I just want to tell everyone listening to be sure and smash the like button <laughs> and also subscribe. All right, guys. Well, you heard it here. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. That really helps out with my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Chelsea would greatly appreciate it. So if you haven't done that, be sure to click that like button down below. It looks like she sent us a text message. Let's see what she said. Said okay. And sent a grinning emoji. And said did I sound good. Would you like to reply? <laughs> so as you guys can see, this is very easy to use and very user friendly. It can understand what you're saying when you're calling and texting. So it's just a really nice option. A lot of your modern cars nowadays have that, 
but now it's a standard on all Subarus. So you can get a base model on up and it'll have the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to comment down below with any questions you have and I will see you in the next one.